what's the verdict? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoops, I got told off there. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi folks and welcome back to the channel once again. Today is the day we are packing up and shipping out of Montenegro and we are heading for Croatia. As you can see by John's hand, it's incredibly sunny. Ella's already in the van, she can't wait to go. Can you see her there? <laughs> So yeah, we're about to roll out this campsite. We've been here for four days. It's been a lovely little break. And we're hitting the road. Well, this is it. We're heading towards the border. We're gonna cross into Croatia in the next couple of minutes. Uh, bittersweet. It's nice to be heading back towards Grandma slowly and to explore some new territory. But you're going to miss Montenegro. What a beautiful, beautiful country, and we'll definitely be back. What do you reckon, kiddos? It was very nice. It was very nice. Yeah, we're all going to miss it. That was beautiful there. And we wouldn't have come if it wasn't for Sailing Rumour. So thanks to you guys, we would have gone somewhere else. But uh, no, we've learned something new about the world. We will be back. Passports, John. Hello. All right, he asked for the logbook, which was a first. I did bring it with me because uh, I thought we might need it. Told off then for filming at the border. I guess you're not allowed to do that. I wasn't aware. Anyway, we got through, so where are we now? Croatia. having a quick stop at the side of the road because well you have to don't you just look at this it's just simply stunning look at it look at it look at it that was well worth a stop anyway on our way to Dubrovnik now we'll see you when we get there It's a bit of an expensive car park, but whatever, we're only here for a few hours. We're in Dubrovnik. We're going to take a little walk down into the old town. And the kids want to go shopping for their keychains. Uh, not keychains, key rings, isn't it, Al? Thanks. Yeah, key ring. And John likes to get his pin badges for his hoodie. So we're trying to collect them. Or just normal badges. We're just trying to, they've got their little collections going on. Whoa. 
Well, this is a shock after quite a little campsite. It's absolutely heaving here, but it's pretty. It's very pretty. Have a look at this. amazing you feel like you step back in time if you could imagine the herd of tourists not being there it's just it's incredible it's incredible absolutely blow my mind and i think john's mind might even be blown a little bit yeah, he has no mind he what he has no mind he has no mind to blow apparently <laughs> As you guys are already well aware, it's compulsory to go ice cream hunting everywhere we go, as well as buying chocolate biscuits when you enter a new country. This is quite possibly the best we've found yet, isn't it? What do you reckon? Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> Elle, what's the verdict? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just mm-hmm. Mm. Fantastic little place, very busy in the old town here. And absolutely, oh, salted caramel, the best. It seems badgers just aren't really much of a thing anymore. Fridge magnets, key chains, um, key rings, all sorts of different jewellery, but badgers, they just aren't badgers, do they, John? No. So we're just walking around all the tourist shops trying to find a badge. We can't. Ella saw it, she got a keychain in the first, first shop we went to. Busy, busy town has become quite a shock after the quiet campsites, hasn't it, guys? I think we're, I think we're quite ready to get out of here. We're doing all right, but I'm starting to get a bit stressed. <laughs> Go on, John, check. Go on, check. John's checking every single souvenir shop he can to try and find a badge, but I've told him, time's up. We're heading down this road, back to the gate, up to the van at the car park, and that's it. He'll have to look somewhere else. It's too much, isn't it, Al? Yes. We're out, Al. We're out. We're free. <laughs> no badge. No badge for Mr. Dude, but we'll find one somewhere, won't we, mate? Don't worry about it. Right, we're going to hoof it back to the van now. We've got to find a place to sleep tonight. I don't like crowds. I don't like crowds at all. <laughs> Let's leave. Let's go and find a quiet place next to the ocean. Whew, well, the walk back was a bit more exhausting than the walk there, wasn't it? <laughs> Those steps were not fun coming back, were they, Al? <laughs> nearly at the van then we're going to take a 45 minute drive up the road 
I think we found a nice looking campsite on park for night, right next to the water, which is what we need because both John and I would desperately like to jump in the ocean. Hope it's not full. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Hot and sweaty. <laughs> How much did it say? 12. 12? Yeah. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Not pounds. 12 euros. So that's acceptable. Meant we didn't have to get a bus into town or anything like that. we just went to um it's closed believe it or not unbelievable what a beautiful little location so it was a good choice it was a good pick it's just closed there's one on the other side of the bay we're gonna head back around there and see if we can get on that one small road I hope we don't meet anyone coming up the other way I hope we're all right coming back up here I hope we can turn around <laughs> very nervous look at that looks like this could be okay even though the other place was closed we could have Stumbled on something quite nice here, I think. Okay, so we're set up. The lady who owns the place is an absolute angel. She's lovely. 26 euros for the night. And John's been inspecting where we can go for a swim because we both need a swim. We're sweaty after that drive. What we got, John? We've got a thing. A thing? It looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. That water's very inviting. So yeah, let's get swimmers on, shall we jump and jump on in? Yep. snorkeling uh, trip a bit short there the GoPro just cut out and I got panicky uh, it said it was a low battery but it happened when I was quite deep down and uh, then I came back up and it said 47% on the battery so it got me all worried you know what I'm like about taking it in the water I've come back up it seems absolutely fine there's no water in there so I've changed battery and we're good so I'm hoping it's just a dud battery they were cheap so yeah but right now El and I are gonna have a cup of tea and eat some Pringles aren't we Els? Look at this lovely sea. We've got a sunset happening. We've got calm waters out there. We're set up, we're cooked, cooking pasta. And John is chopping the bread. How's that going, sir? Not very successful. <laughs> Needs a bit more practice. Ella is art in again. We won't look too closely until things are finished. Pasta cooking. That scene right 
And we're going to end the video right there, folks. Thank you all so much for watching. Tune in next week where we're going to be hitting one of our favorite campsites of the whole trip up through Croatia. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. This is helping us out loads. The channel is growing so well and it's all because of your help. So thank you again so much and we will see you next week.